Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So, after what has felt like a very, very long time, I mean, really it's only been like 10, 11 days, but it's felt like a lot longer. Part 2 of the Christmas celebration on Global is finally here, so we're gonna jump into the news here and uh, see what's going on. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it did take a sneak peek before I started the video just to make sure I knew what I was talking about, so... Uh, here we go guys. So first things first, we have something that's pretty unexpected but definitely welcome which is the Hercules Heart Pounding Gifts which does start uh, today actually. So when you guys log in today, you should be getting that Hercule little animation and then get between 1 to 7 stones. Um, obviously all based on RNG. If you guys are lucky, you can get up to 7 stones. Most of the time you can expect between 1 to 3 stones and if you're like me, then you're gonna get one stone every single day for the entire duration of the event, but that's okay, it's still an extra stone on top of the login bonus, so I'll take it. So that's gonna last between today until uh, Christmas, so a total of a week. And then next up we have some special missions, pretty standard stuff, we'll take a look, uh, closer look at that in just a second. We do have some Dragonstone sales, and this one is uh it's not too bad so first things first we have 24 stones at the price of 12 stones we also have 96 stones at the price of 32 stones which is actually really really solid guys so uh definitely recommend buying that if you are a pay to play player and also of course the standard 91 stone packs for 20 percent off um you know not the best deal but i'm probably gonna pick up a few just to do some summons for you guys so uh yeah overall I would say they're okay sales, they're not the best we've seen, but also not the worst we've seen by any means. Next up, of course, uh, third on the list we have, or is it fourth? Doesn't really matter. Next up on the list is the legendary summon banner for LR Kale and Khalifla. And uh, we don't know exactly what the banner looks like. It does drop tonight at event reset, so 1.30 a.m. for me, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, of course, 10.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for anybody, anybody that goes by that time zone. And uh, moving on now, so of course, I will be doing summons like I said, and uh, I may be doing a, I don't know, like a big giveaway summon stream when this banner drops, still thinking about it, no promises, but maybe keep an eye out for that just in case it happens. And uh, now we have the Here Comes Santa Claus Special Summon, so I honestly don't really know what this is all about. Um, maybe there's something else in the news about it because I haven't seen anything, so I'm not really sure what this Here Comes Santa Claus summon is, to be honest. Um, did I miss something? So I'm not 100% sure what this Here Comes Santa Claus special summon is. Uh, maybe we'll find out a little bit later, but uh, for, that, for now I'm gonna hold off on talking too much about that because I really don't know what it is. Um, Extreme Z Dokkan Festival 4 the next Extreme Z Awakenable unit, or the next Extreme Z Awakening on Global, which is the Tech Golden Frieza, which I've been looking forward to for a very long time. So I'm very, very excited about this. This dude is an absolute monster, guys. All right, he is one of the best EZAs out there. And uh, even though it's not the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, which I do, I did really want to pair up with my STR Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, um, I don't mind this. This is definitely the next best option in my opinion. So there we go. Tech Golden Frieza Extreme Z Awakening dropping tonight as well at Event Reset along with the Extreme Z tickets and also the uh, Wicked Bloodline category banner which I do recommend everybody to skip but it's up to you. And next up, we have the uh, Golden Frieza Dokkan event available every single day. Makes sense. There's also the renewal of the BoJack Movie Story event. Again, not a surprise because they did announce it beforehand. And if you guys want a comprehensive breakdown of what this new event has to offer, or at least the renewal of the event has to offer, then go check out the video I made about it uh, sometime yesterday, I believe. And next up, we have the return of a few uh, old story events. That, uh, I mean, so this one, the, no, no, this one right here, the strongest rival one, the cooler one, um, actually has a renewal on JP, but I don't believe we're getting that renewal on global, so this is the old event. And of course, the Metal Cooler event and also the other world events, they're all making a return for this celebration. And next up, we have Christmas packs. So this is, this is, I'm pretty sure, a Pilaf's Trove thing. So you can buy packs with the Christmas tickets as well as the premium Christmas ticket, which I think 
works the same way as the Halloween ticket we got on Halloween where you get the one ticket and you can do a huge multi of 20 characters with it with three guaranteed SSRs. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. It could just be like regular tickets for like one summon per ticket. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. So we'll have to see once the packs drop. And moving on. So this is by far, in my opinion, the most exciting thing from this um, from this news release. And it is the Merry Christmas Dokkan Festival banner, also known as the Tanabata banner from JP. So we were supposed to get this, or at least we expected to get this for part two of the thank you celebration on uh, JP, or on Global rather. We didn't get it, it was a huge disappointment, but I did speculate later on that um, the Christmas special banner would be this banner right here. And as it turns out, I was right, so I'm gonna pat myself on the back a little bit. Um, <laughs> it's the special banner featuring the LR Gohan and Goten, their first return to Global, as well as the LR Super Saiyan 4s. Um, so uh, obviously pretty freaking exciting guys. Uh, this is coming out on the 24th. So, well, I mean the 25th actually like Christmas day for some people including myself. So it is basically Bandai's, I guess, Christmas present to us global players. And uh, there's gonna be the Dokkan Festival um, banner itself. There's also gonna be the ticket summon, which is the banner we use our Christmas tickets on. And there's also gonna be the premium Dokkan Festival ticket summon, which I believe is gonna be, actually no, I, I know for sure it's gonna be with the premium tickets from the Pilafs Trove. So uh, three different banners for this specific summon, I guess. One is a stone banner, a regular, you know, Dokkan Festival stone banner. One is gonna be a free ticket banner, and then one's gonna be a premium ticket banner. And that's pretty much it. So the final thing here is this Tana Batter slash Thank you slash Merry Christmas banner and I'm so glad we're finally getting it guys. So for anybody that did not get a chance to pull these guys or just tried to but never pulled them, uh, definitely a good opportunity. I mean, it, it's still going to be kind of hard to pull them because the rates for them individually is going to be kind of low because there's going to be a lot of other SSRs featured on the banner. But if you guys are going for all three of them, let's say you wouldn't mind pulling any of them. Uh, even if it's a dupe, then your chances of pulling at least one of them, I believe, is 0.75%, uh, which, you know, it's not super high, but it's also not the worst we've seen. It's definitely better than your average LR rate, so uh, overall, I would say it is a worthy banner to summon on, but it also kind of depends on your personal situation, like how many of the units that are featured you're going to have, and so on and so forth, so kind of hard to make a recommendation, but I mean you're not going to get another chance to have these three featured on a banner in the future, most likely, right? So there is the Tanabata slash uh, Christmas banner right there, guys. Um, otherwise, the highlights, of course, are Golden Frieza, the uh, renewal for the Bojack Story event, and of course, LR Kale and Khalifla, and then also this Here Comes Santa Claus special summon, which, once again, I'm not really sure what it is, so I'm going to hold off on commenting on it for now. Next up, we have the special mission. So I guess that we we're gonna get some more tickets. So let's see if I was right about that. Um, okay, so that's part one. Part two, we're getting some Kai, some tickets, and well, yeah, some stones, and also four more tickets. So if you combine all the tickets from the missions as well as the login for the 24th, we should get a total of 10 tickets. So a free multi, guys on that LR Go Bros slash LR Super Saiyan 4 um, banner, which uh, is something I did predict once again, so I feel pretty good about it. But uh, yeah, that's awesome. Really nice thing for Bandai to do. I do appreciate that. You know, once in a while, I do like to, uh, you know, point out the good things that Bandai does. I mean, I do like to give credit where credit is due. So uh, those are the missions, guys. I think a total of uh, 18 Dragon Stones for part two, which is not a ton, but it's something and then of course the four tickets and the heart pounding gifts uh, nothing new here basically like I said seven stones for the super lucky people three stones or if you're kind of lucky and then one stone for people like me basically all right so I think that's it guys um, that's all for part two of the Christmas celebration and I'm pretty happy with it I mean I wish there were more events honestly I wish there were 
um, more things to do, more things to grind, but I mean, at least for the summons, as far as the summons go, I'm moderately excited for killing Khalifla, and then I'm very excited for the uh, Christmas banner right here, and I'm also kind of interested in this Here Comes Santa Claus special summon. I don't really know what it is. Maybe it's just like a Kai banner where you do a multi for like five to ten, you know, Gokus. Basically, it's like the Elder Kai banner except with the Santa Gokus. Possibly. I'm not really sure. We'll have to see. So, um, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the second part. The details, at least, for the Christmas celebration. Is it better than the first part or are you guys still disappointed? Let me know your opinions in the comments. And as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.